Hello everyone. So today I am going to explain you the topic of Google Meet and Google Form. So from uh, few days, uh, few days back, uh, some of my, some of my friends called me and uh, said that uh, they want a complete uh, explanation on these topics. So that's why uh, I am just creating this video for you all. And it, it this video will also be beneficial to the teachers uh, because as during this lockdown time, uh, teachers are asked to create to uh, conduct online classes and online tests. So this would be a beneficial class. I hope you enjoy this video. So let's start the video. So uh, let us proceed further. And as we uh, proceed further, I'll be telling you how to make a Google Meet link and how to start a meeting and how to add people and remove people from the meeting and other questions uh, with related to Google Meet I'll be telling you the answers for that so let us start uh, first of all just uh, check whether your device is connected to the internet connection or not so uh, my my device is connected to internet now open Google Chrome first step is to open the Google Chrome and uh, just uh, very important thing which I want to tell you it is to to make a Google Meet link it is very necessary that you should have your Gmail ID uh, because it does not work without Gmail ID so you should have your own Gmail ID so in the second step you have to open Gmail when you open Gmail this page will open when your account is in a sign in mode uh, your account should be in a sign in mode and this type of page will appear in front of you the next thing which you can do is uh, to start uh, to make a link for uh, meeting just click here you can see my cursor pointing in this calendar you can just open the calendar and this will be in front of you you can you don't have to do anything to this stuff and you just have to straightly go to the bottom you can see create event create an event with a addition sign so you just have to click that create an event so when you click on create an event you will get this type of page in front of you now the next thing you have to do is just uh, you can uh, write the name of the uh, meeting for uh, suppose you are taking a class uh, for the students of class 10 then you can write like the like this you can write or else you can write as per your convenience or uh, what you prefer that's on you now uh, you can write like this and the other thing now if we go uh, if we move downwards you can see uh, the day uh, to uh, it is showing so this is uh, this is where you should set you have to set the day you are taking the class so if you are scheduling your meeting you it is very necessary that you select the day for uh, here you can see 10th August I will take 11th August and uh, after that you can set the time so as per your convenience you can set the time here suppose I would take the class on 2 p.m. so when you click on 2 p.m. automatically here it comes 3 p.m. so if you want to take a class for one hour then it is okay and if you want to take a class for more than one hour like for two hours or three hours you can just set here that uh, till what time you want this class to go on or else you can use this all day option if you want to take a really long class uh, so the, this this was all about setting the time setting up the time in the for the meeting now the next thing is add guest this option is something which is uh, uh, very rarely used I, I personally say uh, not to uh, use this for school children because uh, in this case you have to share this meeting ID via Gmail so first of all you should have the gmail of each student from your class or the school uh, the student you want in your meeting and you want that they should attend the class each and everyone should have their gmail id and you should have that gmail id to write in this particular uh, box so that the, they would receive this link via gmail what i personally do for uh, this purpose is you can see here there is an option of add google meet conference this is very necessary uh, switch just switch it on so when you switch it on you will see this uh, link is already ready 
and uh, you can see up to 100 participants it gives us the uh, limit limit for the participants you can just go and click in this you, i hope you can see this copy meeting link option is present here so you can just click this uh, uh, and you can see when you click this you can see link successfully copied to clipboard so what i do is i never use this option add guest i just copy the link and i just send this link to the whatsapp group there is a group of uh, uh, children or the students in the uh, school group is there in which every student is present there so what i do i just i simply just send this in the whatsapp group and the student just click on that uh, simple link and just enter into the meeting so this is a very easy step by which uh, people or uh, the students can enter into the meeting so this was all about creating the meet link now if you proceed further you can see here add notification so this is the time of uh, this is time when many classes you have to take uh, if you are a teacher you have to take many classes and you have to set a schedule you will you, are, you will be completely packed and if if you want this google meet to notify you before any of your class then you can just click on this add notification so it will set a timer so it will you can just set when it have to notify you one day before one hour before 30 minutes before 50 minutes before 10 minutes before or 5 minutes before or you can set custom also but you can add your own uh, uh, time uh, notifier as per your convenience so this was all about time notification so then you have to just click on save remember to save uh, remember to click on the save button because it is very necessary so this was how you create a link in google meet now the next step is to uh, share this link this is actually out of the topic uh, but i'll tell you how to share this particular link in whatsapp so uh, few minutes back i was telling you about your own gmail id so if you have that gmail id sign in to your laptop or your uh, mobile phone just uh, check that the mobile phone in which whatsapp is installed should have this same gmail id so that when you send a gmail from this device to that uh, mobile phone you will receive that gmail id uh, gmail uh, this uh, link and you can then just click on that link and you can share that link to the whatsapp so you don't have to do uh, much much uh, you don't have to worry much in this stuff you just have to go to compose you can just uh, uh, add that uh, mail uh, which is uh, sign into the that phone which contains whatsapp you can just type that mail and when you type that mail uh, you just have to type and then you just have to click on paste button so once you paste the link just you have uh, copied for your class will be pasted here and then ju you just have to click on send so when you click send after a few minutes uh, you will uh, uh, you will get a email in that particular mobile phone that uh, this mail has arrived this link would be there you don't have to do anything you just have to click that link for a press that link for a long time uh, i mean for a few seconds press that link and after that you will see three option in your mobile phone first will be copy link second will be share link and third will be open this link in the browser so you do, you just have to share that link to the whatsapp group just click on share link then it will uh, show many things such as bluetooth gmail and uh, whatsapp and if you have facebook then many stuffs which you are installed in your phone it will show just click on whatsapp and just uh, send it to the class uh, which you want uh, to join in the meeting so this was all about uh, the uh, sharing the link with the students now i will tell you the next thing that how students can join i mean how uh, how you can join and how ca you can admit or accept people in the meeting for that you just have to open chrome a uh, new uh, new page and uh, you just have to paste that particular link and you just have to enter when you enter you will get uh, this type of page okay i hope it is clear to you all you can also see the ty uh, the name which we uh, kept that that same name is here online class 10 now you can see these two buttons i i i this is a uh, microphone button and this is camera button so it is upon you that before joining the meeting you want to join uh, silently uh, in a muted form or you want to just join like this in the meeting so it's up uh, it's upon you you can uh, join as per your convenience now you can just click on join button so once you join 
uh, you are in the meeting now uh, you are in the meeting and uh, currently i am only the person in this particular meeting which i am showing you so the next thing is uh, now the you already have shared that particular link with the students i would always say uh, i will all, I, i personally i would always prefer that it is better for a teacher to share the link before one day or uh, before 3 hours so that people in the whatsapp group may see that link and more and more people would join in that in this particular meeting so that that is my personal suggestion for you uh, you can follow it or you can do as per your convenience as you wish so uh, what we can do is uh, now the next thing when the students would click and on that particular link you shared then what would happen it is you will get a notification here i uh, can you uh, i hope you can see this cursor in the screen in this particular area you would see a box coming and uh, in this box it will be written uh, there will be written a name suppose uh, the name is rahul sharma then uh, rahul sharma uh, it will show this rahul sharma and what would happen is uh, it will uh, it will be written that rahul sharma wants to join this meeting now it is upon you that you want to accept that person or not so what you have to do is click on accept button i mean admit is uh, admit would be there you can just click on admit and uh, on the other uh, other side it will be uh, written deny uh, deny so if you if you uh, want that student to join that meeting then you can just click on admit and if you want uh, if you don't want that person to join your meeting then you can just click on deny then you can deny that meeting so the, the next thing uh, is uh, you uh, is to share the screen okay so i will tell you uh, how to share the screen but before uh, telling that uh, uh, presentation or the screen presentation i would tell you one important thing that now you are in the meeting students are there you have joined Uh, the most important thing is until and unless you are not in the meeting people won't be able to join in the meeting it is very necessary that you should be present in the meeting so in order to uh, uh, you know so that people would be uh, uh, people can come into the meeting uh, and in the case of uh, uh, ending the call uh, when you end your call then don't think that the meeting this this link the meeting running on this link has completely ended actually it is not uh, once you end the meeting it will be ended for you only you are the organizer but it will be only ended for you because but the other pa- participants would be still present there because you have admitted them into this meeting so uh, what i personally do always is before ending the meeting i remove each and every one before ending so how to remove so this is one uh, typical question that how to remove every person so uh, when you when people are joining the meeting you can see uh, everyone's individual uh, indi- every individual here in the screen as you can see my cursor moving you can see every single individual in this particular in this uh, one screen and if you want to uh, see uh, more clearly then you can just click here this this contact type of pick is present here you can just click it you can open and you can see everyone's name uh, and if their video is unmute you can see them and uh, they have uh, you, you look i have kept my name google meet host and so in the similar way you can see everyone every participant here so you what you can do is what you can do is uh, just click on uh, this uh, and you can just check all the participants and whenever you put your cursor in the every, in, in a single individuals you can if you uh, put your cursor in the single individuals uh, name you will see three option the first option will be pinning option that is when you click on that pin that particular person will be pinned in your screen and you can observe that person this will the this is the first option the second option is this this mic option so in this mic option what you can do this is very interesting uh, thing which i like the most because uh, uh, people do not uh, mute their mic and they keep unmute uh, they keep their mics unmute due to which very howling uh, howling occurs in the meeting and uh, so what i always prefer is you can just go and click in this mic button 
for every individual there is a separate mic button and if it is in if, if it if, if the mic is looking like this you can just click it so this icon will be made for every individual in in that particular uh, particular uh, window so i always i personally prefer this that every person should be muted because if every person is uh, if all the participants in the meeting are not muted then it uh, howls very much and it is a disturbance for the class so this is a very important thing which i personally do you can do this as per your convenience you can just handle this thing so and one more thing about the mic is once the person is uh, in a mute you uh, in the once the person is in a mute form you cannot unmute uh, him or her but if the person is in a uh, unmute form you can just click this and you can just mute them so don't don't use this button because this this panel this particular this separate specific panel is for you you and uh, it will be uh, if you do something here it will be uh, controlling yourself means if i click here it will mute my voice you can see i have unmuted and you can see this it is recognizing my uh, mic microphone and if i mute it it shows a mute sign here so this is this is what uh, is the basic thing which is present in the google meet and uh, before leaving uh, before leaving the uh, google meet as i told you uh, uh, earlier remove every participant it is upon you uh, because after uh, if you are ending this uh, meeting that it then this meeting is not ended for every participant present in the meeting so this is a slight uh, there is a slight different uh, uh, the different concept from zoom actually zoom contains that if the organizer or the host has ended the meeting then the complete complete meeting is ended but in here it is different thing actually when you click on this then you are only out of the meeting but you would be able to see that the people are in the meeting so what i always do is i always i personally uh, remove every person from that meeting before i end this meeting so this was all about conducting the meeting now i would tell you how you can share the screen in the google meet so to share the screen in the google meet i would use uh, powerpoint presentation which is already uh, ready with me first of all you just have to open this powerpoint presentation and remember don't minimize this powerpoint presentation it should be in a open form in this uh, window so uh, when it is an open form you just have to go to google where your meeting is in a uh, meeting is going on you just have to click here i hope you can see my cursor and you can just click on a uh, in a window you can see three option just click in a window option you can see that here is the window which you want to share that ppt specific ppt which you want to share just keep it open like this as i told you and then just click in that particular uh, window uh, and then just click on share then you can see this a uh, particular uh, message arrives that meet.google.com is use is sharing a window now you can see here two option stop sharing or hide so if you want to stop the sharing you can stop you can just click here and you can stop the sharing and uh, now everyone is seeing this screen every participants joined in this meeting is see seeing your uh, your this slide and as you change your slide the slides will be changed in everyone's screen so this is very uh, nice option which i uh, i really appreciate this option of google meet this is very nice option you can teach very uh, smoothly by this you can just show them and you can uh, just make them read this uh, specific lines and you can just uh, explain them word line to line so that they they would under, uh, the students would understand it more so one more thing about this screen sharing is google meet uh does not have that specification actually if you are the host you can share the screen but in uh, google meet uh, every participant every single individual has that authority to present the screen that means if a student enters then and if he or she want to share something he can share it and he don't have to take anyone's permission for that particular action so what i do personally is uh, when i uh, take the class 
uh, i see some people uh, some students for disturbing the class they starts uh, presenting this uh, slides so what i do i wait for five or six times i just leave them after that six times i just uh, remove them from the call and i uh, i i uh, how to remove i will tell you so i hope you understood how to share the screen i hope uh, you you can see this cursor now to remove that particular person uh, to remove any person from this meeting what you have to do is just go in this uh, you can see this contact type of button you can just go you can just uh, uh, open this uh, many uh, currently i am only present in this meeting uh, then uh, you can just see everyone present in this meeting you can see three option in the name in front of the name of every individual you can see three option one will be of mic one will be of pinning and the other will be of remove remove means uh, there will be a subtraction sign present there you can just click that particular sign and you can remove that person so that is how you can remove the person from uh, specific individual from this uh, meeting so this was all about google meet uh, that how to take a meeting and how to end the meeting i shared everything with you now i am going to tell you about uh, google form that how to create a google form and uh, how you can conduct a test and uh, how you can uh, stop the time limit and uh, other uh, other topics we will discuss on google form so to start uh, making a question paper in google form first we have to go uh, go to google uh, open our browser and now we have to type here google forms comes okay so when we search for google forms then this page appear in front of us so without any confusion we have to click on the first option when we click on the first option we get a screen like this a screen uh, like this will appear in front of us in this screen we have to click on this option go to google forms i hope you can see the cursor so when we click on this we get many templates in front of us we can uh, add more templates as per our need so for uh, explaining you this topic i would use i would prefer a blank template so click on blank template and when we click on blank template we get a a uh, form like this a form like this would appear in front of us so this is where it starts actually so this is it is written untitled form so this can be returned as if we are conducting a test we have we can write it as online test somewhat like that we can write here and in the description box we can write time time limit and also if we want we can write the maximum marks for the question so the, this was all basic thing about the question paper uh, which we can write on the top now if we talk about questions that how to add question so here we can click here so when we click here we get an option it is we can see here it is multiple choice so it is in default option it is multiple choice so if you want to change it to short answer or a long answer then we have to click here i hope you can see the cursor to click there and then we can select any of them short answer is there paragraph is there multiple choice check box and other etc you can see many things are here so if we want short answer then short answer we can take but for now i am telling you about multiple choice so here this place is vacant for writing the question so we can write the question okay so we can write any question and after writing the question we can add options to add more options we can click here this cursor here so option 2 option 3 option 4 four options we can add if we want more we can add more options and if you want to delete an option we have to go and click in this cross mark so this was a basic thing about a multiple choice questions the difference between multiple choice question and a short answer question is uh, very simple actually 
if you want the children to write, write in uh, uh, words and lines then this is the short answer form in this you can write the question here and let the children write answer here and if uh, in multiple choice the difference would be instead of writing they have to just tick on a option now you can see many options here so this option or dustbin option is present here so this trash option is if you don't want this particular question you can just click in this and you can delete the question now we have deleted it and if you want it back by mistake if you done that then you can just click undo here uh, it comes undo and you can just bring it back now how to add new question so uh, just I deleted one question so now to add a question we have to click on this add addition sign look when I when I bring the cursor here it shows uh, shows a mark that it that 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 icon is for add question now let us click in that and we click on that we get this now in the similar way to add more question we can just click here like this and as we as we click on this we can add questions so this was about adding question now what is this required okay so I will tell you about this required so if you give question and if you want the child to solve a particular question for example this is the question paper and in this question paper you want the child to solve this first one so what you would do you want the child to solve this and without solving this uh, he cannot submit so this this is very useful in that purpose actually required if you start this required it becomes it changes its color and it becomes uh, in a switch on mode this means that the child or the student would solve all the questions but without solving this particular question he or she won't be able to submit this paper so this is this, this is about the this required button and what is this button for this is what duplicate if you want a same question that the child should answer then you can just click on duplicate then a clone will be available in front of you very very same it would be just the copy of this particular question and uh, so th th this was all about uh, the required option now I will uh, tell you about how to add image and uh, text and video so you can see this one T is written and then T double T is written here so what is this for for suppose now uh, assume that we are uh, we have done two marks question and after doing two marks question we want the, we are giving them uh, we are giving the children three marks question so how to tell them that th these uh, below questions are three marks so for that purpose this text is used if we just click on this then a new form like new uh, uh, box appears similar to this one so after giving them two marks question we can just uh, give a, a straight line that below from below three marks question starts so this was all about adding the uh, information box now I would tell you that how to add image so to add image we have to click this below this one option is present add image so we have to click so when we click on it a new uh, window type appear in front of us and uh, it is giving us the option upload camera by URL photos Google Drive Google image search so uh, these are all our uh, different platforms from where we can uh, upload the photo so if you want to upload the photo from the uh, from your PC or from your uh, smartphone then just click on browse when you click on browse it will just start the uh, PC's uh, my personal computer's uh, hard disk so that I can browse the pic pictures from my personal computer in the similar way if you want you can uh, uh, just uh, use camera or the webcam you can connect and look when I clicked on camera a uh, new window came that uh, docs Google wants to use your camera okay so when if your computer is connected to a camera it will ask 
you to uh, ask uh, permission for camera to take pictures and same by similar way by url also you can upload the photos and photos google drive google image search but mostly uh, i personally prefer that it is better to upload a uh, picture from the personal computer or the smartphone so this was all about uploading a picture similarly uh, video option is also there we can also add a video here so here we have got a youtube so we can just add the url uh, in the youtube uh, bl uh, youtube blank area we can just take the url from the youtube and we can just paste it here and we can just uh, select it so what it will do it will just bring that video in the question paper so this was all about the panel here so now uh, we are going to talk uh, about changing the position of the questions so if by mistake you created one first question and then you created third question and after that you created second question and now you want to uh, arrange this in a sequence then how to do that so i am going to tell you how to do that it's very simple when when i bring the cursor here and then i bring it here back you can see six dots here and when i take the cursor in that six dots a new cursor comes look it's changing its shape so when uh, we can see that now how to change the position just click on this and when we click like this we can drag it wherever we want so as per our choice we can fix the position of each question wherever we want and now how to share the link now we will create this exam uh, we will create this question paper and after uh, creating the question paper now we have to send it okay so how to send it so to send it okay before telling me how to send it i will also tell you something now you created the question paper now you want to see yourself that how this question paper looks like so for that we have an option that here you can see the cursor you can go to preview so when you click on this preview a new tab opens and you can see that by uh, somewhat like this your question paper would, would look like so this was about preview and if you want to change the color suppose the, uh, for example this is purple color and if you want to change the color background then you can just go to customize theme you can change the color like this you can see, see this color is changing and if you want to change the background color you can go here and become a little darker so this was about the changing the theme colors and if you want your fonts the like question this font you want to change then here it is an option is there playful okay we will select this we can see the question style is changed the font is changed like this font we can change and if we want an image to be uploaded here so we can just click header option is there we can select the image and it gives us different type of uh, uh, genre like birthday il illustration work and school food and dining so we can select anyone we can select and uh, when we select it we get an option here insert just click on insert so when we insert it we can see uh, image comes so by this you can make your question paper more attractive and uh, you can use this uh, to conduct exam so now uh, I now let's move further now how to send this question paper okay so I have created this uh, question paper just for an example to tell you people uh, how is question paper made I have just created uh, something blank paper like as a question paper now I will uh, tell you how to share this okay so to share this in order to share this we have to go to send when you click on send first we get uh, something we can see like this here we can write the email so uh, as in my previous uh, previously I said uh, told you that it is very difficult to uh, fetch all the uh, students uh, email ID and send them via email I always prefer this option okay so with uh, leave email I always click on he uh, click here and then we can see a link okay so this link is uh, quite big 
so what what i do is shorten url and after shortening url i just copy this i just copy this uh, when i click on copy it shows here copied in clipboard i copy it then i go to my mail i open my gmail account and from my gmail account i send it to my smartphone in which whatsapp is there and from that whatsapp i send it in the children uh, students group so by that i am i am able to take test in uh, test for online test for students and uh, now if we talk about time okay so now we will talk about time for for time we can do after solving the question paper for example if we have uh, written the time limit for example 10 minutes there is an option available for auto close option is there in which uh, the question paper will uh, automatically uh, stop question paper will stop accepting the responses after a specific period of time so that option is there so we have to go to add ons i have installed form timer from uh, uh, market uh, google market uh, you can install form timer you can just click on form timer and you can just click on configure and when i click on configure a new window appears here from here it is asking me wh what time you want so i can just select 10 minutes and if you want you can uh, upload a image that or a image or a important line such as best of luck or something like that to encourage your students before the exam you can do all things and you can then save so when you save this it automatically uh, is uh, the question paper is completely ready to uh, ready for the exam now if we talk about the responses so now everyone has given the test and you want to see the response so responses you can see here questions and here you can see responses so when anyone will respond to your question paper you will get the responses here because one by one you will get the responses and one more thing which i prefer always i never use this form timer for uh, stopping the exam because i personally feel that uh, i personally feel that it is uh, sometimes it's working or sometimes it's not working suppose uh, so something like that something fishy is uh, in uh, is present in this form timer so i always prefer to stop the time manually so what i do i just go to response and when the time uh, is over what i do i just click here accepting responses option is there i just stop it and when i stop here i can write a message for the people those who have not uh, responded yet and are now responding after the time is up so i always write here sorry time up or you can write better luck next time somewhat like that you can write here so i always do manually and i will i will suggest you that it is better for you all to do it manually rather than using the form timer because many times uh, after setting the form timer it it does not works actually so i always personally stop the respond uh, responding option uh, for my convenience you can do as per your convenience so now i will tell you something uh, more interesting about this uh, google form so one more thing interesting is if you are creating an exam uh, online exam and it uh, for small children like uh, uh, first class second class or third class then uh, this small kids uh, we will prefer to give them multiple choice questions so one good thing is that if you are giving complete multiple choice question to the children from first question to 10th qu uh, question if uh, each and every question is of multiple choice then what we can do is there is an option of adding a feedback that means uh, you can feed the answer and after feeding the answer you can when the people will submit that uh, particular uh, answer sheet they will see their score so it is a it is type of quiz okay so oh, how it is done 
so this is only for uh, multiple choice question if your question paper contains only multiple choice then you can go for this option and if your question paper contains short answers or uh, long answers then don't do this because uh, that will not work actually it will not it will not come under quiz option so <coughs> so we can use it how to use it i will tell you just go here in you can see my cursor you can go here and uh, you can go to preferences okay so now we can see here we have default quiz points value so you can set the value that your question paper is of how many marks so you can set the question paper marks here and you can save that so after saving that what we have to do next okay so next thing we will do is okay before telling you about the quiz i would uh, like to tell you that uh, please try this quiz option only for multiple choice question because if you are trying this quiz for short answer and long answer it will give a wrong result to the people because this uh, google form or the this system actually does not uh, so, uh, does not correct or does not check the answers as per its own intelligence it's it's it is actually checking just as what we have fed inside it okay so don't try uh, that thing because it will mislead everything so uh, now we will go I, i will just show you one uh, one of my question papers which i created one more thing you i think you have noticed if we do any change in this google form we will see that look we can just see i don't know you can see or not but it is written all changes saved in drive so a small change also is saved in drive drive so you don't have to uh, go and save this question paper anywhere it is automatically saved saved in your google drive account A anything you do in this is automatically saved so in my google drive i created a question paper i'll show you I created one question paper few days back somewhat like this and you can see when uh, students solved this question paper I got responses and you can see your responses written here 97 responses came to this question and how to check the answers okay so uh, to check the answer this is very important please listen carefully uh, when we see when we open the responses option we can see here summary question individual so we have three options here so we can see here 97 responses so this summary actually shows uh, the chart by chart it shows that uh, by chart it shows the answer percentage it shows it never shows the individual so we have to check each and every one's paper individual so what we have to do we have to go to individual when we go to individual we can see here the name Uh, we can see the name of every child and their answer sheet along with uh, with their answers okay, so we can change it we can change it and we can see everyone's answer sheet one by one so this was how we can uh, make the questions and we can uh, check the responses so this was one of my uh, example which i showed you uh, this was a question paper which i made few days back and i also got responses so i hope you also can do this so uh, we were making a question paper uh, question paper here and one more thing this this option i forgot to tell you about this option if you are uh, planning to give a test as per section wise like one mark question in section a and two marks question in sec section b and three marks question in section c uh, so for that uh, we have a sec separate section creator also so we can click here and we can create a section i i hope you can see this this is one of three uh, we have complete total three sections in which we have one, uh, first section this is second section this is third section so we can divide the our question paper in sections and we can make our question paper more decent and uh, uh, more uh, we can make it more attractive that uh, kids would like it so this was all about uh, google form I hope uh, you have understood everything and if you have any doubt regarding this Google form you can contact thank you